How's it going everybody? So in this video we're going to be talking about nettle root extract. So nettle root extract is an herb that I've been working with for a long time. I've tried on and off back uh, when I first started a lot of these tonic herbs around 2014-2015 uh, using cheaper quality extracts like the Now Foods brand. And I had noticed when I first started taking it, even with a cheaper extract from Now Foods, that my it seemed like my mood and my motivation what and my energy was brightened up quite a bit even though it was only like 500 milligrams but of course i think back then i always thought more was better so i was probably taking more like a gram or so from the now foods uh, extract but anyway i do remember noticing a subtle improvement in my mood but i had assumed it must have been placebo because at the time uh, I just didn't believe that, you know, such a low dose of a lower quality form of nettle root could have such a profound impact on mood, energy, or, you know, some of the things that a lot of people credit it for doing. And just so you know, uh, nettle root extract, one of its primary claims to fame is as an aromatase inhibitor, basically lowering sex hormone binding globulin, SHBG which is a molecule that, or a hormone binding globulin, um, that basically binds up free testosterone and other hormones, making it un uh, unusable. And so what a lot of people will find is uh, they may have a really high total testosterone level, but they don't feel healthy, they don't feel masculine, and they might have low energy, low sex drive, and all that stuff, even though they're told testosterone's really high. And when you get a full hormone panel, you might see that your free testosterone is might be very low, despite the high total testosterone. And then you see your SHPG, sex hormone binding globulin, uh, might be through the roof. And this you see in a lot of low-carb diets and carnivore diets and stuff too unless they supplement with carbohydrates a lot of the time. Uh, but, or you have a boron deficiency or some other deficiency, or in people who are just in a, a severe calorie deficit. Uh, anyway, so taking something like nettle root um, extract can lower the sex hormone binding globulin as well as inhibit aromatase, allowing a lot of free testosterone to be freed up. Um, and so for me, okay, let's go back to my story and my history of taking this back in the day when I first discovered nettle root extract and I experimented with a cheap brand and I did notice a benefit in my mood, energy, my libido, and just my quality of well-being. Um, I just felt like I was a teenager again and I'm not, and that sounds like an exaggeration, um, but it is kind of the qualities that it had boosted. Uh, brain fog and stuff disappeared, which to me is interesting. And, and this, and let, let me continue my story before I get deeper into this because it's going to sound like a bunch of bullshit. Uh, anyway, um, and, and another thing is back then I was actually on a vegan diet. So I was at even more of a disadvantage in my opinion. Uh, anyway, so that was like 2014, 2015. So you fast forward to... 2022, okay, I was preparing for my, uh, for a, a, a jiu-jitsu tournament at Grappling Industries, um, where I actually destroyed the competition, even though I was 15 pounds lighter than everybody else, and I had four opponents back-to-back, -back. I beat all of them, I submitted two of them, with the same submission, by the way, and I dominated the back, uh, on one of them, uh, that whole competition prep, okay, so the first month uh, I was just taking cordyceps, reishi, and rhodiola, but uh, I decided, you know what, I want to try the most potent androgenic boosting herbal stack that I can possibly discover, right? And uh, I, I was already about two years, about a year, yeah, about a year into experimenting with high-quality tonic herbs from Hyperion Herbs, like, extensively. I was already taking cordyceps for like a year straight, so I said, you know what, I'm going to buy all of the best er uh, male androgenic like boosting herbs off of Hyperion Herbs, Brandon Gilbert's website. 
Um, cause I knew if I invested a lot of money from his, his herbs that, uh, I wouldn't be wasting my money on something that doesn't work. So, so yeah, I literally, I bought, um, I bought pine pollen, cordyceps, nettle root, and polyarachis black ant. Okay. So anyway, um, I remember, okay, just feeling like, like, first of all, my sleep improved. My orgasms definitely improved tremendously. Um, and my day, my, my energy every single day was through the roof. Like I was able to recover from training. Like the mental fatigue I used to get from training was just completely obliterated. Um, but I also had noticed my like allergic rhinitis of my nose completely vanished. Um, I, I used to have this mysterious like dryness or, or inflammatory that would inflammation in my, in my nasal pathways that would just make it virtually impossible to breathe, uh, at high intensities. And that makes it really hard when you're doing grappling sports or really high intensity training. Uh, anyway, um, my, the main thing is my motivation, my mood and my drive for life was like through the roof. It was dramatically improved. And so, and on top of that, I was only eating one meal a day and I was in, I was doing a targeted ketogenic diet as well. So I have a really good, um, history with ketogenic diets and fasting, um, provided I'm eating enough protein, enough fat calories, as well as salt and, um, maybe targeting 30 grams of carbs around training. So anyway, the, the, the biggest thing is I had this mental drive, okay, that I what was hard, like hard to believe. Like I had not felt anything like that before, except for when I first started taking uh, Macuna Purins or L-tyrosine. So like dopamine precursors where you just feel that abnormal, almost drug-like um, urgency to just kick ass at life. Right. Uh, unfortunately dopamine precursors, usually it's kind of hit or miss and you do seem to build a tolerance over time, depending on the person, not everyone does. And if you take green tea extract on the side, you could usually, um, keep it working for a lot longer. But anyway, with nettle root, this wasn't the same thing as like, as a, Stimulant. This was more like, a, like it, it felt normal. It was consistent. It felt like every day was amazing and just got better and better. Um, and obviously you can't, re no one's going to be able to just take an herb or a supplement or, or even a pharmaceutical drug and then just everything feel better if their mentality and mindset is not taken care of. Like people who have severe depression and they're caught in these like thought loops that reinforce a victimhood mindset and they expect life to suck. They could be taking something that boosts their testosterone, boosts their dopamine and whatever. And neurologically and hormonally, they could be like super boosted and amazing, but because their thought loops are always looking for things to hate about life, they're not going to have better, um, improved like the literally no biohack or anything's going to help them, which I'm going to have to make a video, another video about hypochondria a little bit later. So you can understand, you know, cause that's important. But anyway, um, yeah, I find it pretty hard to be in a bad mood when I have my, when I have the nettle root in my stack. Okay. Um, so, so first of all, I want to put a little disclaimer. Um, I, I had definitely noticed all of this training for grappling industries. And by the way, this is, this is the, the one I'm taking right now. Nettle root extract by Hyperion herbs. And, uh, and it is a 12 to one, I believe it's a dual extract. Um, anyway, uh, and, and I'm, I'm ordering some from lost empire herbs right now. Cause I saw that it's on sale for like $20. Um, and I've never taken theirs, so I, I don't want to advocate a company unless I know that it works. It looks really legit on their website, um, but I'm, I have to try it first. With 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 this one, I I notice for sure that it works. Um, same thing with their polyrachis, 
but with uh, Lost Empire, I don't, I don't know yet, and I'm still kind of questionable about their their quality. Um, and also, I just noticed after I ordered the Lost Empire herbs uh, brand that they said that it includes 10% corn maltodextrin. So I'm just saying to myself, it's like, hmm, how can it be truly high quality if you add a filler like that? It doesn't make any sense. But tw for 20 bucks for 75 grams, it, you know, it's worth a shot. Anyway, um, so a little disclaimer though. Um, so uh, I'm I'm also on a ketogenic diet, uh, like a a targeted carnivore ketogenic diet where most of the time, almost every single day, I'm almost exclusively eating meat, uh, cheese, uh, whey protein, and uh, MCT oil, okay, or MCT, MCT oil powder. Uh, and that is important, but then sometimes on my hardest sessions, I'll experiment with adding about 30 grams of carbohydrates coming from something like either honey or dextrose powder, or maybe um, a handful of fruit after training, just to kind of like see if it kind of improves day-to-day -day fatigue levels. Because I'm training like three or four times a day. And make no mistake, just because you have 30 grams of fucking carbs a day doesn't mean you're going to exit ketosis, okay? <laughs> Anyone who thinks that are just noobs seriously they're newberts okay newberts <laughs> they don't understand ketosis uh especially as an athlete but and for more information on that definitely read the greatest freaking researchers in the games uh research but where was i going with that so the thing is though i notice okay when whenever i go into a deep ketogenic state especially with uh, supplemented with MCT oil or MCT powder. I also notice a lot of these like motivational boosting qualities, focus boosting qualities, and, uh, and then limited energy, okay? The energy is, for, is real. Like I have like what they call um, non-exercise thermogenesis or whatever, non-exercise, uh, or basically it's called NEAT, okay, non -exercise. Non-activity exercise thermogenesis, whatever. Non-exercise activity thermogenesis. Where basically uh, I have a lot more energy throughout the day. And I notice I'm like moving around like probably at least five times more throughout the day. Don't get mid-time, midday crashes and stuff. So yeah, being on a ketogenic diet, in my opinion, is a confounding variable. Um However, I've done so many experiments and been in ketosis for, you know, months, for years at a time, the past five years or so now. No, four years, or has it been five? Uh, I know what to expect from ketogenesis. And, uh, like, there was a time, like, in 2020, I was going through a lot of other stuff on the side, though. But in 2020, I remember um, I had done... I was in extreme deep ketosis, carnivore style, but I was I was supplementing with like reishi and whatnot, and I just remember there's a lot of um, not so great energy effects and whatnot. So just because I'm in ketosis doesn't always mean I'm going to feel that way. Um, but I noticed this uh, recently, within two days of adding this into my routine, uh, alongside polyragus black ant. Uh, and um, pine pollen, okay? But I've taken those before. I was taking those already, and they weren't. When I added nettle root, uh, all of a sudden, my motivation, energy, my mental clarity went through the roof. Um, it's interesting. Like, the... Um, yeah, so I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep on experimenting here in the future. And I'll make an updated video later on once I kind of feel like I'm, I can be certain that it's the nettle root extract. But um, again, like the in inhibition of aromatase, the uh, reduct, the inhibition of sex hormone binding globulin, 
Um, and all of the people who have, like, I've seen, I've seen a handful of anecdotes on the internet of people saying that they've experienced the same thing. Um, and, and again, when I first took nettle root extract with the now foods brand, which is, I believe is like a cheaper, less potent brand. Uh, I thought it was a placebo effect, but I did notice an improvement, right? Um, but honestly, now I'm 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 not too sure. I, now I'm feeling like, yeah, I think this nettle root extract. I think that there's something more profound to it. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll tell you one thing is for sure. I definitely have the perfect combination right now of of things, uh, the right herb stack and everything. But yeah, so leave y'all's questions and comments down below. And let me know, have y'all tried nettle root extract? Um, have y'all had similar experiences? And for those of you who might be on, might have tried hormone replacement therapy or something, uh, would you say that these are kind of like effects that you might have experienced? Um, because uh, I've seen maybe two people on, on YouTube who had uh, blood test results before and after taking like a, a, an herbal stack or a supplement stack that included nettle root and they had um, dramatically improved free testosterone after taking it. Uh, and I saw one person on, uh, I think the Lange City Forums, which is like a biohacking forum from a long time ago, uh, back when forums were actually popular. Um, and uh, this guy posted his test results uh, and he was on he was on TRT, and it was like uh, eight months before nettle root extract on TRT, and then eight months after. And his test results showed a decrease in sex hormone binding globulin and increase in free test, but it wasn't significant. It was something like like twenty improve twenty points improved on a free te a free testosterone test. And something like maybe seven to fifteen point reduction in sex hormone binding globulin. I don't know much about those things, and I probably should, um, considering how deeply knowledgeable I am about everything else about health. But um, I don't think that's too significant. But maybe I'm wrong. So anyway, uh, leave your question and comments down below, and let me know what y'all think. And again. Um, luckily Brandon Gilbert had just brought back this nettle root extract cause he, ke he keeps removing it. Um, cause I guess he believes that people abuse it, abuse these mel improve it, these mel enhancement herbs or whatever. Um, but it was so powerful that people insisted he brought it back and I'm glad he did because like there was this energy that I felt preparing for my last competition or not my last competition, but preparing for grappling industries that. I tried so hard to like bring back after, uh, afterward and no herb combination or, or, or anything could bring it back. It was only when I recently brought back this nettle root extract, but I also started supplementing with MCTs extensively that I noticed a difference. But I think the, the ketogenic protocol with MCT oil and whatnot, I think that it mostly improves my physical energy. I think it also definitely seems to enhance cognition. I mean, pretty much, I mean, that's been scientific, do, scientifically documented, but I feel like that, that edge and, and masculine aggression and the desire to attack your goals and attack your competition, uh, I think that that's coming from the nail root extract. Anyway, well, only one way to find out, more experimentation. So let me know down in the comments what you all think, and I'll talk to you all next time.